Welcome everybody. Thanks for getting on the Q&A session for the challenge. We're just so excited for the challenge to start. And probably a lot of you already watched the 10 minute video, rollout video that Jared and I and Chantel and Deborah did last night. And um, maybe even some of you are already signed up with your, with your coach key to have your own room. And you probably have a lot of questions and that's why we wanted to have this Q&A Zoom. And so first off, I wanna just give you a couple of quick little tips and then I'm gonna open it up to everybody to just raise your hand and we'll go, we'll go questions from there. So first off, um, this challenge is gonna be very similar to the last one, but a couple of new, fun, exciting features like a thousand dollar team prize which I'm super excited about. I fought for this one, you guys. I like with compliance on the phone for eight hours and, and, and we got what we wanted because it's such a good marketing hook, right? If you write a thousand dollar help challenge, team help challenge, you know, in your Facebook event, that's going to get a lot of interest. People are going to be like, wow, this is so cool. I want, you know, I want to be part of that. So that is one thing. It's the top. Oh, we got loud. We got loudness. Let's see. I muted everybody. There we go. Okay. So. Sorry, um, I had to order USC napkins. That was really, really important. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, what was I saying? Thousand dollar team prize. So the team with the most points, and that's averaged. So the most they add up all their points of the whole team, and you divide by the number of people on the team. And that is your team points average. And the team with the most at the very end, they split a thousand bucks. And if there's ties, then it goes to the ties. Everybody splits it. But another fun thing that's new from the last challenge is we are having a weekly prize. Okay. So every week, starting week three, because the first two weeks people are still signing up. So we didn't want to do it in those weeks. But starting week three, everybody's set. All the participants are in the challenge. And starting week three, we are going to compile from Monday until Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Uh, individuals points, okay? And this is the fun thing. The top point winners for that week will split a pot. So every week there's going to be fun winners. It's going to be really exciting. And you can even reactivate someone. You know, here I'm going to go to the – Gallery view. Raise your hand if you had someone who maybe they they started, but then they just kind of dropped off the face of the earth halfway through the challenge. Raise your hand. Okay. <laughs> yep, I did. And so this is such a good way to tell people it's not over, you guys. Like you can still be in the running. Like just let's get on it this week. This week, just be like a hundred percent, and you you could be in the running for to split the team. You know, split the the weekly prize. And so if you can get someone just really in it, because even if they do it for one week, can you see how awesome and important that, that all that information that they would get that week that could honestly just help them to change their healthy habits, help them make a difference in their health. So that's another fun um, addition that we have with this challenge is the weekly prize. And that's an individual. That's not the team. Okay. So the, there's the team $1,000 prize they split at the very end, and then there's a weekly individual prize. This is what I see happening. Everybody with perfect points for that week, they're going to split it. Let's be honest. There's going to be a lot of people with perfect points, right? So perfect point winner of the week, basically. Um, okay, so those are my two. Those are the biggest things that are different from the last one. Most everything else is just going to run very similar to the last one. So everyone who did the last one, it's just going to feel like, oh, I'm back at home. I know how this goes. You know, you click on your little box to earn your points every day, and you're good to go. So I'm going to open it up here for questions. So um, I have a couple pages of people here. So mute yourself if you're not talking, or I'll mute you. Um, okay, so raise your hand if you have a question, and I'll just kind of go around. Let's see. And I'm not, I can't, I have to view both pages. Oh, Cassie, I see you. So go ahead, Cass. I unmuted you. Uh, thanks. Um, for husband wife teams, um, when you do it, do you and Jared uh, do separate teams? Um, we, that's just up to you. Um, if you feel like you want to separate out your teams, husband wife, um, that's going to be a real easy way to do it. 
But here's another thing to consider. Um, this is another um, new addition that you guys are going to love is that any team room leader, coach person, <laughs> right? You've got a room, you're a coach. You can go into any other room and see their wall and post on their wall. So a regular participant can't because we don't want weird participants posting about magical pink juices or something like that, right? But the coach is like, we know you guys. You guys are awesome. You're going to be fine. So you're not going to be able to see any personal information of anybody's clients or anything like that, but you can go in. So let's say you have some coaches on your team and they're, they're a newer coach and they're excited to fill up their room, but maybe they just need a little bit of guidance or help with things here and there. Then you, you can go into other coaches' rooms and, and look at the walls and post on there and kind of help, you know, get things going and, and stuff like that. Um, so it's, you know, maybe you don't need to have multiple teams. Even if, let's say that you went to a gym and they wanted to have their own team with the gym and you went to their school and they wanted to have their own team with the school. Just put one person in charge of that. You know, one of like a techie, responsible client in charge of that team. And you as the coach, you can still go into that wall and post stuff and watch things and then get that information from that person. You just like contract with them. Okay, people are going to be filling out surveys. You're in charge of emailing that to me. You know, that sort of thing. I'll give you $20 cash in account for your trouble or, you know. So you don't have to necessarily sign up for multiple accounts if you have that situation. Does that answer your question, Cassie? Yes, and, and then further, so you don't have to be a coach to be a team leader. It sounds like you can uh, like assign one of your clients. Yeah, you can do that at your discretion. But I'm, you know what, 95% of the team leaders, they're going to be coaches. Got it. Thank you. Yep. Okay, who has another question? Raise your hands, Amanda. I'll unmute you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I now you you mentioned something at the training, and I'm not sure if it went through. But so there's just the one thousand dollar prize for the team points winner, right? That's the only thousand dollar prize. Correct. Or is there another one for the biggest team? I or, tried to get the one for the biggest team, but the lawyers would not give it to me. Okay. It, yeah. It was another eight hour long conversation. <laughs> I know. I know you had a lot of those and I just wanted to double check since we had yeah. heard that. So we'll make sure and spread that word. Thanks, Thanks. for going to bat for us. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wouldn't that have been fun? Dang it. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Who else? Let's see. I see Sarah Flake. So is this available to anyone, Canada, Europe, anyone? Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. and is there a minimum team size? Like if one of my coaches creates a room and she only has one person, is that a problem? Good question. Okay, so there is not a minimum team size, but in order to be eligible for the $1,000 team prize, it's a minimum of 10 people on the team, including the coach, okay? So there's no minimum. You could have a team with two, but you're not in the running for the for the big prize. And if you... Okay, and then Oh, go ahead. One other question. What's the pot for the weekly winner? That depends on how many people are in the challenge, you guys. Oh. More people in the challenge, bigger weekly pot. So let's, you know, keep pushing people for more and more and more, um, inviting their friends and family. Okay. Great question. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, so, so a couple questions. So why, what... Initially, you had talked about the team prize for the biggest prize. You just mentioned that. I think that's a good thing because otherwise one coach could just stack all of our coaches and everything underneath them. Anyway, and then all their teams. But what I'm wondering is, is there a benefit to having a larger team or a smaller team? Um, well, well, yes. So yeah, your, benefit, your benefit. Oh, I'm echoing. Oh, I'm echoing. I'm going to mute you. Okay. okay. No, I'm not. Um, so the benefit of having a larger team is that you're going to have more interaction on your team wall because, uh, oh, this is another new thing. You get a point for posting on the team wall. Remember how the old old way, it was the main wall and it would go so fast. You never know if anyone on your team even posted or if they had a question. You're like, well, I didn't see it. That was like two hours ago and a thousand posts later, right? So now we're pushing people to post in the team wall and they get a point for that. So you're going to be able to, you know, deal with people's questions and, you know, just really rally around the whole team. 
and that's going to be a lot more fun. So um, having a bigger team means more interaction on your wall, building that health community. Also, um, the more people on your team, I mean, the more um, potential clients who may or may not want to become Take Shape for Life clients, right? So that is a huge plus for the coach. So it's both the participants and the coach benefit from a bigger team. Does that answer okay, your question? And also, yeah, I, I just, I guess I'm kind of asking this because I feel like I have a lot of coaches who they get stressed out with extra things. And so like this, I think they might want to participate, but can I invite them to be on my team and invite their clients to be on my team? And that way they're at least participating, even though they're not leading the thing or creating a team, but I just share my link with them so then they can send their clients to the challenge um, and then that loop isn't closed for them. Does that make sense? I feel like sometimes people get overstressed out and I mean this is so easy just if anybody's listening to this and it's a new call it's very fun and easy in my opinion but I just <laughs> wanted to <do> a question. <laughs> Thanks for that plug in there Julia. Um, so I would say if you're a brand new coach, I really think that this would be a fun way to get your business off the ground. It's not going to take a ton of extra time, but here's the thing is that they're going to get points for filling out a form to contact their coach once a week. That's going to go to the team leader. So it might be kind of strange or, you know, if it's going to someone who's not you and also, um, that, you know, they're going to be filling out surveys and that information is best mined by the actual coach. Um, but I, I think that in, I am encouraging all coaches to have their own room, but we do have it built in just so you know, <laughs> this isn't plan a, but we have it built in that just in case, you know, you, you'd make a room and you didn't fill it up to 10 people that, um, you can just ask me what you can do and I can help you. Okay. We, we do have a way that we can, you know, like roll a small team up to their mentor but that's not plan A, okay? Plan A is rally your team, be like, you guys, we need to get less, at least 10 people in here so we're eligible for the thousand team. Who else can you get? Ask your mom, ask your brother, ask your, your best friend. You know what I mean? So that's, that's plan A, right? And plan B is talk to Amber and find out if it's to get down to it and you only have three people on your team, you talk to Amber, okay? Does that answer your question? <laughs> All right, let's see. I saw Amanda with a hand. Amanda, I unmuted you. Yeah, um, just earlier in one of the websites and one of the groups, um, I asked about minors, like if kids under, people under 18 could, and I think that, the, that that's not allowed, right? It's only eight, over 18. And that's so you, men, you mentioned something about a family plan or that they could reread the readings. I, I just wanted a little more information on how you can involve a family. Okay, so you could just, you know, have the one person who's actually over 18 be the main person who signed up and they could, they could play as a family. Um, so when you read a reading with this new system, it will give you your points, but then there's a button that says reread. So they could have their whole family get on and reread that reading for the day or, you know, you can watch the webinar and get your point and then they can rewatch the, re the webinar later. There's always a rewatch or a reread on everything. So a family could really play together and really get the benefit of that. I don't know. I'm trying to find them. <laughs> okay. It stopped anyway. All right. Let's see. Who else? questions. Oh, I see Renee. Go ahead. And then, okay. sorry. Oh, hey, Amber. So if I sign up um, a company and they want to do it kind of as a six week, six week health challenge for the company, like within their HR, is there a way for the company to pay for all the participants with the, um, through the PayPal instead of them all having to individually pay for it? Well, basically, um, the way that it's set up is that each each person needs to you know pay with their PayPal because they're going to get paid back through their PayPal. So if that company wanted to pay for all of them with their own PayPal, the company would get the money back in that same account too. So I don't know if that's very clean, you know, and and concise. I would say just tell that company to um, you know once their person signs up and, and shows that they just reimburse them. I think that that would be a lot more clean unless the company wanted to win the money too at the end. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, we'll figure it out. Okay. Good question, Renee. Thank you, Amber. Just with that, um, on the last challenge, some of the clients that like I had some old ladies that couldn't do the computer or didn't have PayPal accounts or whatever, and I just like signed up and used my PayPal they paid me or I paid for them or whatever. And it ended up kind of being a headache at the end. Like they, you know, cashing out, I had to like cash it all out to my PayPal pal account and then give them the money. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just doing, you have to use your own PayPal. One idea that Jill and I had talked about is that you can send money. Like if you're going to say, if you want to say you can, um, that I'll pay for your sign in or whatever, that I'll pay your $22.50 if you're a new client and you make an order. And it's a lot easier to just send the $22.49 to their PayPal and yeah. then they can use that existing balance to pay their their fees. Does that make sense? That's actually what I was just going to say. And um, when you were talking, that made me think of that. Um, but you can, I, I did that for some of my clients. I did an incentive like, okay, sign up today and I'll pay your buy-in. And I sent the money to their PayPal and then they signed themselves up with their own PayPal. So if you want to do anything, and there's no pressure to do that, to pay for your own clients or, you know, it's your business. It's totally up to you. But um, that would definitely be a better way is still having them do their own PayPal. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I, it says Troy Huntsman, but that's not Troy, obviously. Your picture's so little. Who is it? Uh, Christine, hi. Christine, I knew you. It's just so little. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, this is our first challenge that we've ever done. So what are, I don't even know what they're trying to accomplish. Is there a certain rule that they're trying to, or how do you win, or how do you get points? <laughs> okay, great question. And the, have you seen the rollout doc yet, Christine? Not yet. I'm gonna... Okay. So make sure you go through the rollout doc, but the basics are, and the, the rules, there's, they're linked on that rollout doc. But the basics are that they want to either sign up to be um, a person who's losing weight, lose 6% in six weeks, or maintain their weight and not gain more than 1%. So that's one category. Then the other category over here is their points. They need to earn at least 80% of possible points, which honestly, um, with all the bonus points that we're going to be giving each week, it's really only like 65%, you guys. So anybody they're going on vacation for a week or they don't want to do it on Sunday or whatever, they're going to be totally fine. It's, it's not going to be a barrier to being a winner. Um, so if they, they accomplish those two things, you know, their health goal and their points goal, they're a winner. And all the money that goes into the winner's pool, which is 50% of everything is split up among all the winners. And then 25% goes towards incentives. So incentives are the thousand dollar team prize the weekly prize on the, those four weeks, all the weekly prizes. And then also um, we give away some coach kit scholarships or winners. So that's the 25% and the remaining 25% goes to the website people and they earn their money. I'll tell you that they, they're always on customer service calls and zooms and they earn that 25% for sure. And then there's a $2.49 um, uh, PayPal feeds little tech on. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. Hands. Oh, Amy, go for it. Yeah. If um, one of my coaches and I know the same people, um, how do we pick what team they should be on? Um, I would say go by normal. Like, how would you do that if you and your friend had the same friend who wanted to become a client, right? it would be the same thing. You, you just, if two people talk to the same person and then they would just have to choose which team they wanted to be on, they will go with the person that if they became a client, that would be their coach though. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. Yep. You bet. Okay. I'm going to go to the other page. There might be hands. I'm not seeing. Let's see. Jill, did we answer all your questions you sent me earlier? I was tardy, so I'm going to, when I watch the recording, I assume so. Oh, and I was going to bring it up, and then I, and then I, um, I closed my Facebook so it wouldn't make the boinking noise when people message me, because they do. Oh, do you want me to? Because I have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Um, okay. Um. Oh. 
so you talked about the thousand dollar prize where it was being pulled from is uh -huh. it just the smithson team or is it the whole big like every presidential on the face of the earth is in the same winner's pot right good question okay so there's going to be nine different separate challenges within take shape for life and um so smithson team is one of those nine Fisk team is another, and then the other ones are think people like Dr. A, Dan Bell, Brian Drollinger, Greg Rex, people like that, Terry Miller. So there's nine total, um, but our Smithson team is separate. Uh, super. Um, then did you talk about like whatever upgrades they've been, they did to deal with server overload and crashing? Right, no, that's a good question. I didn't cover it. So um, with our challenge, some of you may have remembered that during signups there was some crashing and there was some overloading. So the servers have been upgraded a ton. Like I'm pretty sure that server costs went from like, you know, a hundred bucks a month to four thousand dollars a month for um, the, the website people. So they've made big, huge upgrades and they've really, um, you know, nipped the, the problems in the bud. And they even, Terry Miller did a, um, a beta test challenge in July. And they didn't have any slowdowns, and they had um, a bigger challenge than ours and Kim's combined. So I think we're good to go. We're going to see, you know, I mean, there's a website. We're never going to be 100% for sure, guaranteed, never a slowdown, but it's going to be much better. Um, then, in terms of the recordings on the, you know, any sort of webinars and, or little audio things for the daily readings and the weekly habits. Um, are those already done? There had been some talk about having them be more recorded just by coaches from the Smithson team. I don't know what you ended up with overall and if you needed things for that, but. Okay, good question. So um, all of the other eight or seven, you know, big challenges that I mentioned, they're all using the same things, same videos, audios, um, short 60 second daily reading videos. Um, but we had leeway because we're special to have our own. <laughs> and so I actually did choose a couple of them from the ones the company did because they were really good. And then the rest of them we parsed out and um, we had, you know, the globals and presidentials and, and nationals and just different people were helping make those. And those are um, pretty much all buttoned up. So we, we did do our own on those. Okay, and then I think the last one was, um, did we talk about um, posturing um, the, the fact that the buy-in is um, just how much the buy-in is versus the, um, the winner's pool in terms of how to best posture that in the event that everybody's super, super fabulously successful and everyone finishes the challenge, that they won't necessarily get their buyback back? Yep. So, That's a good question. So the posturing um, that, that is, is best for this is, you know, a lot of people um, are going to, am I, am I frozen? I feel like nobody's moving. People will be able to um, put in money into the challenge, and um, most likely they're going to get your money back. Plus, there's options of winning bonus prizes. So that's that's how I'm posturing it. And even Terry 